Hi! In this video, I will show you how to create this French freestyle braid half up hairstyle. First, I use some water for my hair to get more texture and make the braiding easier. Then, take the piece of hair from the front and separate it in three equal pieces. Start to bring the sections from side over to the middle creating a French braid. So right over, add hair. Then the left over and add hair. Right over, add hair. Left over, add hair. Right over, add hair. Then the left over and add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern. To get more volume for your hairstyle, pancake the edges of the French braid. This gives nice, little bit softer and messier touch for the hairstyle. Continue braiding until you have nice amount of hair open for the half up. Pancake the French braid until the beginning the freestyle braid. Then beginning the freestyle braid, take a small section from the left side Bring it over and add to the right side. Then small section from the right, bring it over to the left. As you may notice, I put the left section and the middle section on the same section to the left side. So I have a little bit more hair on the left side than the right side. That's why I take bigger sections from the left side and little bit smaller sections from the right side when I bring them over to the another side. When the sections are equal, then I will continue the braiding like I would normally do. Just take the small eagle sections from the both sides. Continue the braiding like this until the end of the hair or the length you prefer. When you pancake the hair, you can hide easily the little bit different sized sections on the beginning and make the look a little bit messier.
Next, I will create the accent braid. Take a section of hair from the left side of the first braid. Separate the section in three pieces and start the braid normal French braid, bringing strands from side over to the middle. You can bring the strands as well from side under to the middle if it's easier for you. Continue this regular braid until it's on the same length as the first one. Next, I repeat the same to the right side. Notice that this section must be as further from the middlest braid as the first accent braid. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.